Based on the beautiful Sarabi Rock Lodge Reserve in South Africa, the Dwarf Mongoose Research Project was established by Julie Kern in 2011 for her master's degree, under the supervision of Dr Andy Radford. In collaboration with the University of Bristol and the University of Pretoria, the project seeks to explore the interactions of these highly charismatic social insectivores. As its name suggests, the dwarf mongoose is the smallest of the three social mongoose species found in Africa. These group living mammals inhabit dry open woodland and grassland savanna, where you'll find them foraging for various insects and other invertebrates during the daylight hours. Dwarf mongoose are vulnerable to predation attempts from a variety of aerial and terrestrial predators. Since foragers dig for their prey items, they are unable to be vigilant at the same time, and so a sentinel is often posted whilst the other group members forage. If they detect a threat, an alarm call is given to alert the rest of the group members. This call not only signifies danger, but also indicates the type of predator and urgency of the situation. In fact, they also respond to alarm calls from an array of bird species, such as hornbills and grey go-away birds. The close-knit social dynamics of these animals influence many aspects of their daily lives and make them an ideal study species for behavioural research. Within their family groups, there is a strict dominance hierarchy, with one dominant male and female and several subordinate helpers of both sexes. Usually, only the dominant female will reproduce, while the rest of the adult group members help raise the offspring as part of a cooperative breeding effort. This involves taking in turn to babysit and providing nourishment for the pups to grow. Some subordinate females even lactate and suckle young that are not their own. All group members participate in a wide range of social interactions, such as grooming, territorial defence and play fighting. The project's main focus is on behavioural research. We work with eight habituated dwarf mongoose groups, ranging from 5 to 17 individuals, each identified by discrete blonde dye marks on their fur. Each mongoose group is visited on a weekly basis to maintain habituation and collect continuous data on their foraging routes and important life history events. We have also trained the mongoose to climb freely onto a set of electronic scales so that we can record their weights several times a day. We are currently carrying out non-invasive experimental research on such varied topics as acoustic communication, intra-group relationships, and scent marking behavior. If you are interested in the work we carry out, please take a look at our website and like our Facebook page for regular updates.